Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18, but we will read 28 verses this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to thank you yet again for another day of life. And as always, dear Lord, we thank you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for all the many blessings that you have given us. I thank you for not, well, keeping us till this point in this life, dear Lord. As we know, if we have this life, it is for a reason, it is for a purpose, it is for you to finish your good work in us, Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray, as always, that we do not look to the things that we do not have, but look to those things that we do have. And also that we look more so to those things that we shall obtain in your eternal kingdom to come. So that we do not lose heart, that we do not lose focus, that we do not become disheartened, that we do not lose hope, nor faith, or any such thing, dear Lord. But that we are overcomers persevering until that day that we are taken out of this place because we count it that we are just sojourners in this place in this world and we look for a uh, eternal kingdom to come in which resides your glory your peace your love your goodness for eternity lord we do forget this at times and we we just want to pray that you etch this in the forefront of our minds that we can always call upon it anytime we're feeling um any type of way that we can remember that we are just here for a moment and we just want to give you thanks whilst we abide here being good stewards and good servants of your of whatever you you have put in charge for us to to steward in this life lord jesus and as always, I want to pray this morning for the heart of, well, I want to pray this morning for the hearts of every person this morning, Lord Jesus. I don't want it to be that there be any hatred or bitterness or envy or strife or any such thing stored up in our hearts, but that you purify us, creating us a clean heart, renew a right spirit within us as your psalmist has told us or shown us lord i want to pray as always that you help us throughout the test and trials of life every single person is going through something whether how hard or easy it is i don't know but i just pray that you do not allow us to venture off away from you but that you keep us in your fold under your the wings the shadow of your wings as your scripture has shown us and that we are able to teach the youth likewise in this knowledge so that when they're of age, they shall never neglect or reject you. Lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right. So First Thessalonians chapter 5 says, But of the times and... And the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh <coughs> as, a <coughs> as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail, travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. 
For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesyings, prove all things, hold fast to that so hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a whole and holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. And this was the first epistle unto the Thessalonians was written from Athens. Amen. All right. Um, there's a few little things here that kind of uh, it started off and told us that the Lord is coming, is 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 going to come, right? But those who are in darkness is going to come upon His return is going to come upon them as a thief in the night. But He said, "Those who are for Him are not in darkness. We are children of the light and of the day, right? And we can be watchful. Right? But it tells us to be sober, also sober being." The, the word sober doesn't just mean that you're not drinking alcohol, right? It means that you are in your right mind. So your mind is not polluted or drunken in any way, shape or form, right? So that, that they come upon us unawares. So it started off with all of that, right? And then it went on to exhort those who are amongst us who have been charged with different offices um, that are there to help the body in, in in keeping on track, right? And as I said, esteem them with, what, what did I say? Esteem them very highly in love. The verse 13 says that, right? Again, it again just gives us a few instructions about helping each other, all right? Warn them that are unruly. That is actually showing love, actually. Comfort the, weeble, the feeble-minded. Support the weak. Be patient toward, toward all men. You know, we read these things and we shouldn't... May I tell you, we're not, it's not just words. It's things that we ought to put in action, right? And we only can remember these things when we go back and read them sometimes. Sometimes we do forget these things, right? They said, render no man evil for evil. Right, follow with that which is good, and then it says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing. Right, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And again, it just shows us again in all situations, we ought to be giving thanks, even in our suffering, in those things that we don't necessarily, um, are it doesn't necessarily please the flesh, um. Scripture is here. Tell us to give thanks. Why do we give thanks in these things? Because even whilst we are going through the scourging and purging, it's actually showing that we are one of his, right? One scripture says he scourges the son whom he, he, he accepts. Oh, we go again. I can't remember that. Was it a proverb or somewhere else? Oh, that slipped me, that verse. 
it's at the tip of my tongue, right? But it does, in more or less words, it tells you that the Lord, any son that he receives, he scourge. Not because he hates them, but because he loves them and he wants to, to make them that much more refined, right? Not as choice gold. So, I said, good little read this morning. Quite a few things there to bring back to remembrance. Anything that you want to share, you can drop it in the comment section or you can send it into the word at retreat1.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught, taught me, I kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone. And God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.